appointment of the following members to the respective committees as specified here under. Number one, the Honorable Peter Mwadi MP to be appointed to the Departmental Committee on Administration and National Security to replace the Honorable Josephat Kafinga Washira MP. Number two, the Honorable Joseph Kafinga Washira MP to be appointed to the Departmental Committee on Labor and Social Welfare to replace the Honorable Peter Mwadi. is a swap between the two. Number three, the Honorable Benjamin Dalus Stephen Tayari MP to be appointed to the Committee on Implementation to replace the Honorable Owen Yabaya MP. Number four, the Honorable Joseph Kalasinga Majimbo MP to be appointed to the Departmental Committee on Agriculture and Livestock. Uh, that's a new member getting a new committee. The Honorable number five, the Honorable Janet Ongera MP to be appointed to the Departmental Committee on Environment and Natural Resources to replace the Honorable Benjamin Dalu Stephen Tayari MP. Number six, the Honorable Tendi, Teddy Gumbao Mombire MP to be appointed to the Public Investments Committee to replace the Honorable Anthony Tom Oluoch MP. The number seven, the Honorable Peter Oscar Peter Nabulindo MP to be appointed to the Committee on National Cohesion and Equal Opportunity. Number eight, the Honorable Francis Tom Joseph Kajuang MP to be appointed to the Departmental Committee on Justice and Legal Affairs to replace the Honorable Otiende Amolo MP. Honorable Speaker, these names were approved by the Selection Committee in its sittings yesterday. The names have been proposed by the political parties and the political coalitions uh, through the whips and basically is a reorganization of the committees to reflect uh, some gaps. Uh, Partly uh, within the national security, there's a gap as of, in, of leadership occasioned by the demise of the late uh, Paul Koinange. And uh, the Jubilee Coalition uh, is proposing to fill that vacancy with the support of members by uh, proposing the Honorable Peter Mwadi uh, to move in there and uh, hoping the members will then give him the support so he can continue the good work that uh, the late Paul Koinange had started. And he creates a position then in labor which the Honorable Kafinga would uh, uh, occupy. But uh, that will happen. The elections for that have not been declared. So that will, will, will be declared in due course. The two new members have joined the Honorable uh, Joseph Kalasinga Majimbo and uh, Oscar Peter Nabulindo, and now they have been formally appointed into the committees. And uh, there's also some reorganization by the NASA coalition for the better efficiency of delivery of services within their committees uh, by their uh, membership. Uh, I do not want to belabor a point. This is really uh, something that, uh, uh, and some members have even asked to be removed or re reallocated committees of choice. Uh, I see Honorable Bayer uh, uh, wanting that attention highlighted. Uh, so, Honorable <laughs> Speaker, this is uh, really a, a, a straightforward matter. Uh, it will receive unanimous support in the selection committee, and I'm sure this house, we don't even need to do a lot of debate on this. I want to, I beg to move and ask the Honorable Leader of the Minority Party uh, to second. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I want to second this motion. Mr. Speaker, the selection committee sat yesterday and did some reorganization for the better functioning of the National Assembly. And as the leader majority has rightly put it, there are possibilities after the passing on of the Honorable Koinange. And I think and I hope and pray that uh, my friend, Honorable Peter Mwadi, would be given an opportunity, uh, if he's voted by the members of that committee, to become the chair of that committee and continue with the task. That is a very busy committee, Mr. Speaker, 
in terms of requests for statements and questions that go to Security Committee. On the others is basically rearrangement. The Honorable Anthony Tom Watch had actually requested that he could uh, surrender one of the committees to our very strong member, Teddy Mwambire, who has been only serving in one committee. And so I want to say that this will now accord Teddy Mwambire opportunity to serve substantively in the Public Investment Committee where he has been acting. There are other members, like the two new members who have joined, who have joined us after the passing on of our two colleagues. They also now have an opportunity to substantively serve in the committees. Finally, Mr. Speaker, um, the, we have made uh, some changes in the Justice and Legal Affairs Committee, again, to align it with the aspirations and requests and uh, the aspirations of the ODM and other coalition. Uh, Tom Joseph Kajuang is joining. He may not be a professor in law, but is the people's chief justice. And so he's well versed in legal matters, and I wish him well in that committee. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I second. Member of Moranga, can you... Member of Moranga, if you could uh, find some seats. You appear to be heavily laden. <laughs> Honourable members, I propose the question that further to the resolution of the House on Tuesday, 5th of December 2017, appointing members into various committees and pursuant the provision of Standing Order 173, this House further approves the appointment of the following members to the respective committees as specified here under. One, the Honorable Peter Mwadi, MP, to be appointed to the Department of Committee on Administration and National Security to replace the Honorable Joshua Kabinga Washira, MP. Two, the Honorable Joshua Kabinga Washira, MP, to be appointed to the Department of Committee on Labor and Social Welfare to replace the Honorable Peter Mwadi, MP. Three, the Honorable Benjamin Dalu Stephen Tayari, MP, to be appointed to the Committee on Implementation to replace the Honorable Owen ba Ea Baya, MP, for the Honorable Joseph Kalasinga Majimbo, MP, to be appointed to the Department of Committee on Agriculture and Livestock, number five, the Honorable Janet Ongera, MP, to be appointed to the Department of Committee on Environment and Natural Resources to replace the Honorable Benjamin Dalu Stephen Tayari, MP, six, the Honorable Tede Ngubao Mwambire, MP, to be appointed to the Public Investments Committee to replace the Honorable Anthony Tom Oluoch, MP. Seven, the Honorable Oscar Peter Nabulindo, MP, to be appointed to the Committee on National Cohesion and Equal Opportunities. And finally, the Honorable Francis Tom Joseph Kajuang, MP, to be appointed to the Department of Committee on Justice and Legal Affairs to replace the Honorable Otiende Amolo, MP. Is it the desire of the House that I put the question? Very well. Honor, honor members. Honor members. Honor members. Let me just find out what, what, what is the mood like. So I put the question that I put the question. Will as many as of that opinion say aye? Aye. Will as many as of counter opinion say nay? Nay. The eyes have it, honourable members. And I therefore put the question. I therefore put the question, which is that, was further to the resolution of the House on Tuesday, 5th of December 2017, appointing members into various committees and pursuant the provision of standing order 173. This House further approves the appointment of the members as listed on the order paper into the various committees to replace members as indicated in the order paper. Will as many as that opinion say aye? Order number 11, special motion, consideration of a nominee for appointment as principal secretary in the State Department for Implementation of Curriculum Reforms. Second, uh, re resumption of debate. No, not put the question. Mo move to reply.
Can I pose a question for the mover to reply? Oh no, members, again, it's your, it's your decision. You know, you know I don't have a vote. I put the question which is that the mover be called upon to reply. Will as many as other opinions say aye? aye. As many as counter opinions say nay. The yeah, ayes have it. Mover. Mover, Honorable Florence Mutua. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I beg to remove my mask. I think I'm far away from. Huh? Ms. Sawa. Ah, yeah. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, let me take this opportunity first and foremost to thank you and the leader of majority for saving the report last week. That was your very good wisdom, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I also want to thank, I want to thank uh, the honorable members of the Committee of Ed on Education and Research, Mr. Speaker, and the members who gave their views in support of uh, Honorable Fatuma and also the members who gave their various views. Mr. Speaker, but I have to explain why we were supporting this lady. Okay. Mr. Speaker, I want to thank all the members in support of one Professor Fatuma Chege, PhD, as the nominee for appointment as Principal Secretary, State Department of Implementation of Curriculum Reforms. Mr. Speaker, I had a lot of uh, notes and explanations as to why the CBC rollout is important. But Mr. Speaker, seeing the mood of the House, I beg to reply. Thank you. All the members, all the members, all the members, all the members, member. All the members, uh, I think, it, you know, if we can uh, all pay attention, we'll move very fast. All the members, I put the question that taking into consideration the findings of the Departmental Committee on Education and Research in its report on the vetting of a nominee for appointment as Principal Secretary in the State Department of Implementation of Calicaram Reforms, laid on the table of the House on Wednesday, April 28, 2021, and pursuant the provisions of Article 155, Clause 3, Paragraph B of the Constitution and Section 3 and 8 of the Public Appointments Parliamentary Approval Act 2011, this House approves the appointment of Professor Fatuma N. Chege, PhD, as Principal Secretary, State Department for Implementation of Curriculum Reforms. Will as many as what opinions say aye? aye. As many as counter opinions say nay? The ayes have it. Next order. Order number 12.